I came downstairs to feed my little dog, my little Maltese, and I was carrying her. And uh, I happened to walk in front of the television that had the news on. And I'd been following this J.C. Dugard case, especially since she'd said they'd said um, a little girl lo- uh, kidnapped from South Lake Tahoe in 1991. And, you know, South Lake Tahoe, that's where I was living, lived for a long time. And um, I was thinking, do I know her parents or did I know, did I ever work with them or anything? And and that she had, you know, I had heard that she'd walked into a police station and got free of her captor. But, of course, that story later got uh, turned around. But um, And then I heard they had a couple in custody they were questioning. And I just happened to walk in front of the television when I heard the name Philip Garrido and his wife, Nancy, and I, I, from Contra Costa County, and I stopped and I thought, Garrido, was that first name Philip? Contra Costa, that's where Pittsburgh is. And I turned around and I saw his name, and I saw the picture they'd been showing, and I and her, and I just, I started, you know, yelling. She screamed yeah. like you cannot believe. It's yelling my name. I was upstairs, and she screamed for me, Jim, 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 as loud as she could scream, you got to come down here right now. My father, three years ago, had had a heart attack, and he was there that day, and I thought, guaranteed, he had another heart attack and was laying on the floor. <laughs> guaranteed, the way she was screaming. And I ran down there, and my heart was coming out. And then, it was this. And I was, I was horrified. I was horrified. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, I just couldn't believe it. Oh, I was shaking for about four hours. I just couldn't stop shaking. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. That's him. That's him. He did it. Look what he did. Oh my God, now he's going to go to prison forever. All these emotions going through me. And all this time, my fears had been justified. I had a right to be afraid. I should have been afraid, and I'm so sorry that he got that little girl. I thought it was so disgusting that he had preyed on a child. You know, I never, he wasn't a registered pedophile, he was a sex offender, but I guess he decided to go for easier prey.